Congestive heart failure is a serious and debilitating condition that affects millions of people. Patients diagnosed with heart failure amount to almost 700,000 new cases in the US and over 3 million in Europe a year. Heart failure is a progressive disease for which there is currently no cure. 30% of patients with advanced heart failure will die within three years, indicating the need to continue seeking new treatment options and management strategies for this prevalent problem. As patients become sicker, they become more and more incapacitated and begin to suffer from numerous other conditions. Heart failure patients experience a lower quality of life than patients suffering from many other diseases. Currently, treatment usually begins with medications to increase the heart's pumping efficiency, then moves to implantable pacing devices before progressing to ventricular assist devices and transplants. The aim of all these therapies is to maintain an adequate blood flow to ensure the body is sufficiently provided with oxygenated blood. The C-Pulse Heart Assist System sits outside the bloodstream. It is intended for patients with moderate to severe heart failure, which is known as New York Heart Association Class 3 or Ambulatory Class 4 heart failure. Patients that have this level of heart failure may get worse, even when they are on heart failure medications. The goal of implanting C-Pulse is to take stress off the heart in order for it to get healthier. Patients may begin feeling better immediately after the C-Pulse is implanted. In general, a patient eligible for C-Pulse is one who has been diagnosed by a cardiologist with heart failure, is on medical therapy to treat the disease, most likely already has an implantable cardioverter defibrillator device implanted, also known as an ICD. Despite optimal treatment with their current medication, the patient continues to have worsening heart failure. What is C-Pulse? The C-Pulse Heart Assist System is a minimally invasive implantable device that consists of a cuff with a balloon which is placed around the ascending aorta directly above the heart. The aorta carries blood from the heart out to the rest of the body. Inflating and deflating the balloon helps take stress off the heart, decreases patients' symptoms, increases coronary blood flow and provides the heart with an opportunity to improve. The system is comprised of the following. The cuff with airline to fill the balloon, two wires connected to the outside of the heart with sensors that are used to determine how fast the balloon should inflate and deflate based upon the patient's heart rate, an external driver containing a pump and battery, a cable connects the internal components to the external driver. This cable exits out from the patient's abdominal area. How it works. The cuff gently inflates inwardly into the ascending aorta, causing a thumbprint depression of the outer curvature of the vessel. The C-Pulse Heart Assist System inflates and deflates counter to the natural heartbeat, referred to as counter-pulsation. What this means is the balloon deflates when the heart is ejecting blood and inflates when the heart is filling with blood. C-Pulse uses this proven technology to help the heart on an everyday basis. A major difference is that it is implantable, mobile, can be disconnected and does not come into contact with blood. The driver is worn externally and is portable. What to expect with the surgical procedure? The C-Pulse Heart Assist device may be implanted into the patient in about two hours. After the initial incision, the C-Pulse cuff is placed around the ascending aorta above the aortic valve. The heart rate sensing electrodes are then attached to the left ventricle. Next, the airline and EKG are tunneled down through the abdominal musculature. Near the bottom of the abdomen, they are joined to an interface lead and the lead is brought out through an exit site in the abdominal area and attached to the driver. After the procedure is completed, the patient will remain in the hospital approximately eight days if the procedure is performed in a minimally invasive manner. There may be improvement of shortness of breath during rest and with activity following the procedure. Patients may easily disconnect from the system for short periods of time. To do so, First, the power button is pressed to turn off the driver. Then the driver is disconnected and the lead is capped off. 
It's recommended that patients limit disconnection to no more than 15 to 20 minutes in order to maintain therapy. This will provide a better opportunity for the heart to improve. When patients are ready to reconnect, the cap is removed, the lead is reconnected to the driver, and the power button is pressed. The device will automatically resynchronize to the patient's heartbeat. Worsening heart failure. Without a therapy like C-Pulse, patients may progress to class 4 heart failure and require a heart transplant or a ventricular assist device, known as a VAD. The VAD is connected directly to the heart, where a machine takes over some or all of the pumping of blood to the body. VADs are implanted within the chest, connected to the heart and major blood vessels in direct contact with blood. Patients on VADs must be on continual anticoagulation medication. Treating a patient at an earlier stage with C-Pulse may help them avoid the need for a more invasive procedure. C-Pulse is designed to help patients with moderate to severe heart failure and provide a therapy with opportunity to improve their condition. In the early clinical results, most patients see an improvement in their quality of life. C-Pulse for the management of moderate to severe heart failure.